Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a math HTML table generator. This will be able to create tables for the supported operation operators of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division pre-coded in HTML courtesy of your application. Alright, put a text box in your form and let's begin. I'm going to do three public variables. Oops. Uh. Okay. Now we're going to make a function. Make function. OP as char, max as integer. Whoops. All right. Now that we have our function, now we're going to declare something. This video is going to be more advanced because it's going to be dealing with HTML and VB. And I'm going to have to do this in segments. So stick with me. We're going to try and get this function finished and hopefully have time to start the other one. Start the next part. So, all right. Dim result as string. Now I like to do multiple variables to keep it nice and tidy. Whoops. Temp. And yep. Just so we get that out of the way so you'll stop whining around at us. Alright, once you have your variables declared, now we're going to do a do loop until x is equal to max, which is a parameter for your function. And inside this loop, we're going to put another loop for i as an integer equals min to max. And we're going to do a select case. Whoops. Alright, case equals... Basically you're just going to put all your operators which you're going to support. Which, for this example, it's going to be the four basics. Now, you as a programmer can implement your other features. Oops. Okay. Now, what we're going to do inside this, we're going to go temp equals the value of x plus i. And we're just going to keep doing this except for count for our operator. This 
see for the division that's why we have a minimum of set to one because it cannot divide by zero otherwise you'll get an error okay so after you do that go to while well, inside your next loop you're going to put oh, result plus equals and an HTML tag td and temp and slash td and vbcrlf X plus equal one result equals nothing new list equals or new list dot add result and finally oops I forgot we need to do this math type equals addition math type equals subtraction Okay, so we're setting our math types. I'm trying to move fast because it's already seven minutes in and we're just on our first function, which just gets complicated. So just bear with me. Um, now what we need to do is table equals, uh, what was it? What do I want table to equal? I'm having a brain fart. Table of and max master string. No, yeah. All right, so now, before I cut the video off, I'm going to explain what our function does. So this is gonna be the directory, which is wherever your application lies, it's gonna create a folder called table, which the table folder is going to hold all our um, HTML files that this program will generate. This is going to be basically your path name or your yeah your full directory and your file name this is just going to be an indicator which is set right here as the type of math it is which is going to be used for the file name so each time you create a file it's going to be the directory math type so if you do an addition table say addition table of and the maximum value for now, that's all you need to know about that. Um, so, let me explain this loop. So, this do loop right here is going to run until x is equal to max. Now, every time this loop runs, max is incremented at the end so that this loop takes on x's value. So, if this loop is on two then two plus one through ten if your max is ten and this is creating an HTML tag in a string with an enter so this will give it a new line because what we're doing is compiling a code HTML code file so we want to have new lines otherwise our table will not turn out right so adds the value from the calculation so for each time k 
calculates, it's going to add that. And then it's going to add it to a new list, which is the list we're going to return. And we're going to clear result so that it does not equal nothing and does not end up with duplicates because it's a plus equals. And that's it. All right. Thank you for watching. I will be working on part two. See you soon.